family this clip i'm going to put here i do not own the cover to the clip it's for informational purposes only if this is not an inside job i don't know what it is i don't know keep telling you guys stock up on your food stuff stock up on your weapons stock up on your pepper spray stock up on all the stuff you need to protect you and your family if this is not an inside job i don't know what it is i don't know check out for yourself family you do the dishes that's all i am i'm just here as a reminder <sighs> That's my man there. Ooh, I blow a I lead my hat. I'm a rock. And that was that beet juice that I was drinking. But anyway, I'm ready to play two videos for you. Food for thought. You do the dishes. I'm just a great reminder. Shout out to Big Heart. Thanks for posting the video. And shout out to the to the to the to the two. Donald, Donald Trump is still, still the president. president of the United States. And not only that, that these species that's on this planet know that everything is at an end, and they do everything strategically and scientifically everything so listen to this but first of all let me play this video this is a long video worth watching so are things about to get serious or is this all just a big coincidence 400 guns stolen from a ups center hmm. 620 pounds of explosives with 400 blasting caps stolen from a construction company hmm. and 400 bulletproof vests stolen from a Ukrainian whatever embassy something in New York. Huh. <clears throat> Coincidence? Nah. <clears throat> nah. The last video will shock you more than anything I just said. About 400 bulletproof vests, which were donated to be sent to Ukraine, have been stolen in Manhattan. The vests were stored inside the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America building on 2nd Avenue in the East Village. The theft happened sometime overnight. Workers found the door forced open when they arrived, arrived this morning. They called police. The NYPD is now looking for those responsible. Here at the Susquehanna Regional, Regional Police Department, because these officers are working with the ATF and state police to try to find these explosives. Gregory General Contracting Company reported the theft of 640 pounds of dynamite and 400 blasting caps. The ATF <laughs> hmm. says they were stolen from a truck parked at a pipeline worksite off River Road. It says workers left the explosive locked in a truck. Friday, but then notes the trailer door was open and those locks were missing on Monday. If you have any information that could help investigators and could earn you that $10,000 reward, call 1-888-ATF-BOMB. That number also 1-888-283-2662. Yeah, right. Stealing or even possessing stolen explosives. Inside job. That could come with up to 10 years in prison. In like Mr. County, Caitlin Smith, WGA, there's a casual word that's going up for grabs after someone stole 400 guns from a Memphis UPS facility. They used a U-Haul van to do it Sunday. The ATF released pictures of the suspects. Here they are right here. But they're still working to figure out exactly what type of guns are going. Investigators say the guns were on their way to different companies and cities. The ATF is offering a $5,000 reward for information. <laughs> Developing tonight, soldiers accused of running an elaborate theft ring based at Fort Carson. The stolen items range from protective vests to a robot worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Tom Mustard is in Colorado Springs tonight. Tom, the men are accused of selling... Let me interject here. You see the yes show you two black guys that were stealing stuff. No, this stuff there was it's missing here from the factory. They're not showing you on the cameras that they have surveillance who is stealing it. But they always want to put black people are stealing stuff. But for here, they're not showing you who is actually stealing this stuff. Several high tech, even sensitive items. High tech, sensitive. Okay, we're talking about half a million dollars worth of extremely sensitive equipment uh -huh. stolen from Fort Carson this November. Fort Carson. Across the globe. Now, we're here in the, the cameras. parking lot where federal agents actually met one of the suspects and purchased some of the items. And Where's the cameras? They've shut down an extremely dangerous inside job. An angry Susan Tuhick. Where is the cameras to show you the stuff that went down? Who was selling who to who? 
Where the cameras? Read the video. Where is the pictures of the people? Where is the pictures? After the other three men stole the items from a supply company, an undercover army agent allegedly met Francis in a Safeway parking lot to buy some of the items. Where is the video? Heavy traffic in front of Francis' house. Where is the picture of Francis? Is he black or is he white? Ha 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 ha. I say, what are they selling? According to court documents, the FBI arrested Francis April 15th when he brought a rifle. Where is the picture of Francis? As Francis and the others await their fate, Susan I give up. a message for the man who may soon be her former neighbor. You should be ashamed of yourself. I hope they give you at least 20 years. Now, Francis will not face 20 years. He and the others face up to five years in the federal prison and $250,000 of fines. Now, listen, besides the last case where the individual was selling the 400 guns that stolen from the UPS, who knew that they was there? They targeted that. Ain't that say was, job. That was specific. They they knew where to go. So, and the vest that was stolen, and the bombs, the explosive, the 640 pounds of explosive. Now, with all the stuff that's going on across the planet right now, Israel, Palestine, and Muslims and Christians, and all the protests that's popping out in all these cities, false flags, mm, false flags, so they mm. can get this thing popping and get it started. Mm. Pause. Next video. This video I'm going to play next, my people. Please pay close, close attention to this video. Thanks. Shout out to Big Heart and the individuals that made this video. Shout out to Big Heart for posting the video. But this here speaks volumes. Again, everybody that was around Biden that day was artificial. Every eukaryotic cell is artificial intelligence. But the people that were around Biden at this day and currently around him, these are all what you would call reptilian, rex, 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 reptilians. Reptilians. Reptilian and what you call um, AI, artificial suits, like um, what you would call like Terminator. It's like Terminator. This is what's going These are the people that are around by it. But here you go, right here. Pay attention to this right here, my people. And this was the last president to understand and understand Gematria when it comes down to numbers. Like I said, the number nine is very important. Nine, 12, three, six, nine, 12, and 13. Again, and I noticed none of the military had any ranks or honors on their jackets. So I decided to go back and buy this inauguration again. And I noticed none of the military had any ranks or honors on their jackets. So I decided to go back and look at other past inaugurations. And I noticed uh, Bush, they had their ranks on their jackets. I looked at Obama. This isn't actually the um, the inauguration, but it is a laying of the wreath. For some reason, the video wouldn't wouldn't edit that I found for Obama's inauguration. But you can see here, they all have their military rank on their jackets. And the next one you'll see with Trump. Trump has his, and I want you to notice too that all three of them were able to touch the wreath and kind of push it back on the stand. But I want you to notice Biden's on what happens with his ear. Because this is different. Because remember, there's no military rank on any of the jackets anywhere. You can't find them. And you're going to see he doesn't walk down the steps. 
checking on any military officer there. So it's Shorian, uh, Shorian, 1147 AM Eastern Standard Time, which is a violation of the 20th Amendment of the Constitution, which specifically says the President's term is to end at noon, and this session shall then begin. Uh, it was 1147 AM. You'll see that in the uh, video and uh, certain clips. Just to reiterate, if you go back, if you remember, he was sworn in before noon. We didn't make it up. We didn't change the time. If you, if you go back, do a little bit of your own research, find some of those videos, see what time to ask people, he was sworn in before noon, which means it's illegitimate. Mr. President, pardon, to be the 46th President of the United States. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. All right, folks, that's all I can pray on that day. Don't believe me if I'm posting to your research. <laughs> hey, it's all a big game, man. It's all against a big game. It's how you play the game. And if you know how to play the game, you'll be the end of the game. Peace out. Love.